Well, hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and we are gonna look at a old school Photoshop trick to help make this cover design easier. So uh, this is the cover of Lightroom Magazine, it's the current issue, and we use this shot of the Blue Angels that I took just a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, uh, as the cover shot. And there's a really cool trick because I shot this as a wide shot and we need it as a tall shot for the cover. Here is the original shot, which you can see is wide and is not tall. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to copy and paste this, just simple copy and paste in Photoshop over here to the actual masthead cover title plate. Um, let's use free transform to get it down to size and then we'll get to the trick. So first we're just going to go free transform and get it down to size like you know kind of like that all right so this is step one is just get it into the layout all right let me move it over just a little using the arrow keys okay so the first part is to extend the top of this now the trick is this you're going to duplicate the layer so let's do that we'll press command j on mac or control j on windows so it actually duplicates the layer you're going to go to free transform which on mac is command t on windows pc it would be control t and then you're going to right click or on a Mac, you can control click. And this pop, this menu pops up. You're gonna choose flip vertical. So here's how this works. I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. On the original layer, there's the edge of the sky. That's where the sky ends. And then here's where the sky ends on the flipped version. So watch, you just move this up until the two skies touch. And it is a perfect blend of color from there to there. So the top is pretty easy to fix. The bottom, will be much harder because there's not much blue here. So we're gonna have to do a little Photoshop magic, but let's go ahead and click on the middle layer here, duplicate it and do the same trick, flip vertical. And now when I drag it straight down, the two bottoms will perfectly match up right about there. The only problem is we have an extra set of planes down there. Let's go hide that. Let me hide this bar that's part of the magazine. And then we'll just come down here. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, let's move the I'm going to make a uh, copy of what we have here. We'll go Shift Option Command E on Mac, Shift Alt Control E on Windows to make a new layer that is looks like it's flattened, but we really still have all the stuff here. All right, now here's the trick. We're going to go grab the. We can use the Spot Healing Brush to like get rid of these trails here, there, and over here. That's pretty easy. All right, let's check about this right here. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this just by highlighting it. Maybe we can get rid of that. Not bad. How about this little piece right here? Not bad. Now let's see what happens. Try to get rid of this area right here. All right, here's where we're gonna get into some issues where it's gonna get a little clunky. So we're gonna to switch tools. We're gonna to go over here to the patch tool, which is the cousin of the healing brush. And I think of using the patch tool when it's something big. Let's go over here and we'll just get rid of this whole area. You use it like the lasso tool. You drag it to someplace clean nearby and just let go and it fixes the problem. That's pretty much it. There's a little bit of junk down here. Circle it, drag it someplace else, let go and it's done. And then the last piece would be to bring that little, the uh, info bar, bring it back to the top of the layer stack. I use a little shortcut there, shift command, right bracket moves it to the top shift command left bracket takes it to the bottom so on, on windows it would be shift control left and right bracket but that's how we extended that it's just a little old school trick for extending backgrounds in photoshop and it's pretty easy so there you have it thanks for watching